Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. By this video, I want to gift you my unit conversion Excel add-in. We know that how important it is to stay consistent with units while carrying out various computations. To support my fellow young engineers, I have developed Excel ribbon which can support you in your unit conversion activities while carrying out computations on Microsoft Excel platform. It's a completely free and you can download it from the video description. Installing add-in is a two-step process. In the first step, we need to place the downloaded add-in in the appropriate place. You can place it in C drive add-in folder. In the second step, we need to locate this add-in from our Excel platform. I now show you these two steps very quickly. Here I have placed the downloaded add-in in my C drive add-in folder. Once add-in file is placed here, I need to locate this file from MS Excel platform. I have opened my blank Excel file. We need to go to the developer tab. We need to click this Excel add-in. Then click browse. In browse button, we need to select the add-in file that we just placed in C drive add-in folder. Click OK. Since I have already installed, it is showing like uh, this file is already existing. Do you want to replace it? I am just saying yes. In your case, perhaps you want to get this uh, message. So it is already here now. Unit conversion add-in, it is already checked. Once I click OK, we can see TPG tab, TPG ribbon next to the formulas tab. So here, this is the how. This is how you can install this Microsoft Excel add-in. Now, next time when you open your Excel file, uh, you will see this ribbon there. If you want to remove this ribbon, you can also go back again to developer tab, Excel add-in and just uncheck this and click OK. Then that ribbon will go away. Using this add-in is very simple. You need to click this TPG ribbon. In unit types, there are key unit measures are shown like mass, mass flow, pressure, temperature, energy, power, length, area, volume. You can go with, uh, let's say right now, I want to demonstrate regarding pressure. So pressure is chosen. So for pressure, we have several options like atmosphere, bar, let's say I want to convert some bar gauge to kilopascal. Let's say 40 bar gauge. So 40 bar gauge is 4101.325, this much kilopascal. And this decimal, if you want to go for two decimal, it will change the value, one decimal. You can also go for some other one, like let's say I want to convert temperature. In temperature, I have, let's say degree centigrade to Kelvin. And you can see, so you can also change the decimal. So it's very easy to use. Feel free to explore this add-in. Give your feedback through comments in video. I'll release future updates on my YouTube channel. Hope this edit will help you with your computational assignments on Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.